replacing this uh, Fujitsu Siemens charger. Somebody else had a go at it some time ago probably. Uh, they p uh, patched up the middle cable but uh, it seems it's uh, not working again so that clearly broke and as you can see it doesn't really look uh, good and it's all sticky because it was wrapped in uh, electrical tape so i'm going to cut it here uh, remove some of this remove the insulator on the wire uh, use uh, heat shrink solder the wires and uh, that should be actually it and I'm not really sure but I'm thinking of actually cutting this wire a little bit shorter here somewhere because this thing is pretty heavy and I'm 99% sure that it is actually the reason this broke uh, I understand that these are filters and it's uh, good to have them but uh, they are way too big and heavy for uh, this thickness of wire at least so I will think about it and maybe I will cut it here not 100% sure but yeah we'll see that okay I ended up cutting this probably is not a great idea but uh, because this will be repaired it's not like a new original one it's way safer not having this big weight on the cable and another thing not having this in, on the, in the way it means that I could pass on the cable uh, these heat shrinks because I don't really like how this bends in the area here let me just show you it bends pretty pretty steep I could say so uh, sooner or later that would uh, also fail and uh, I'm going to put this heat shrink it, it and then put this on top of it that will force the cable to start bending uh, here somewhere not exactly at that point hopefully that will prevent a future problem so let's do that okay this seems to be working perfectly as you can see this will not bend in that area and this will actually do what it's supposed to do release uh, the tension on the wire and bend itself slowly so that is pretty pretty good I'm really happy about it so this will not uh, become a problem in the future at least not in the near future maybe after uh, three four years yeah it will break here also who knows so I'm going to continue at the other end let me move the camera back a little bit and I'm going to put this uh, on the cable always put this before soldering or else you will not be really happy about it you will have to undo your soldering And I'm going to search for a thinner one that will go over this uh, cable. The wires are uh, soldered in place. Uh, make sure there are no sharp edges. I usually file them down because if the, uh, any sharp edges remain in time they will cut through this uh, heat shrink and create a short with the outside wire. If you file everything down it's really smooth it cannot cut through this you are set next there are two heat shrinks uh, here one uh, on top of uh, the other I'm going to put them in place heat up everything solder the other one and put ton of heat shrink on top of that heat shrink number one finished now a longer one will go on top of it right about here hopefully the camera stays focused and that's about it next solder this 
and put the other heat shrink on. The second wire uh, soldered, but I misjudged uh, the heat shrink a little bit, so I need to stretch it so it will go easily. Do not force it on top of this because you could move the one in the bottom, although it doesn't really happen that often. often it's better to stretch it with a screwdriver or something. So now it will probably go on top of that one way easier. So let's see. And it's perfect. So, of course my camera didn't focus anymore. You can see it's very well now. I will uh, heat it up and do the other ones. Another heat shrink is on. You could say I could leave it like this, but look what happens here. When you bend it, it bends here the most. So that is pretty bad and it will break in time again here. So now uh, a ton of other heat shrinks. Let me just get them here. Come uh, into play. And I think I have another one. I always uh, try and put uh, what I think I will use and maybe one more if I need it, it I can cut the other one and I use this longer. I have an option so I don't undo everything and start over. And of course while doing this it really helps having uh, this thing to keep your wires in place and a ton of different diameter uh, heat shrink. So let me continue. And this is how the final thing looks like. Not the prettiest in the world, but uh, way smaller chances of it ever breaking. You can see the way it is bending, it's not stressing everything, it's pro progressive. And here also. So yeah, we are pretty good. And I forgot to tell you at the start of the video, whoever worked on the, this cable the first time also opened this up, probably it was also something damaged inside. And they used uh, electrical tape to <laughs> close it and just a bit of glue somewhere around here. So I removed the electrical tape and put a ton of glue everywhere. So this is completely sealed everywhere now. So yeah, and now let's give it a quick test. The battery on this laptop is 91%. Hopefully you can see, let me zoom in. Come on. Okay, and plugging in the charger. It switched to if it could actually show me something, but yeah, charging and the charging light is on. No matter what I do to these two things, it will stay on. Let me unplug it, plug it back in, and yeah. That's about it. So this is how you fix uh, cables in uh, laptop chargers. Or you could uh, buy a completely new cable, but in my opinion those are pretty crap quality. These original ones have better uh, connectors on them, so for me it's better to try and fix them for as long as I can before I switch to the uh, cheap stuff. So yeah. That's about it. Thanks for watching. As always, check out my other videos, like, subscribe, comment, and see you in the next one. Bye.